Hello, New Zealand. Welcome to the Late Night Big Breakfast. Man, what a massive show we have for you tonight. It's a Father's Day special. We have Miss New Zealand on the show, and what a stunning beauty she is. And, of course, a massive sporting special, and so many more other things. I think we've even got Astor and Craft Corner, Lee Hart. Oh, we certainly have. It is a great show indeed. And uh, I tell you what, back by proper demand, we've got Mike the Mongolian folk singer. Oh, wow. He's going to yeah. be uh, yeah. Yeah. a bit of it. his indie music. And as you mentioned, it's a sports special. Father's Day big in your house, Jeremy? Very big. Leave yeah. huge. It's the biggest day of the year. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Funny how Mother's Day always seems to. Uh, 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 you know, it's always a bigger deal, though, isn't it? I think with Mother's Day, that. you've got to make it about um, about mothers because mm. yes. they've got kids. Yes. So you've got to make it about mothers and the kids. So what I always do in the, the morning of Mother's Day, mm. I always you know make sure I get up. I go mm. get the kids, bring them into mum. Mm, that's yeah, right. Put I them do. in there, put them Special in Special time. Yeah, Special totally. Time with and mom. I get out, I just get out of it. Get out of the house, leave them to it. You know what I mean? Sometimes what I'll do, I'll arrange my my mum to come over, which is my wife's mother in law, yep, yep. to spend time yeah. on Mother's Day with, with her and the kids. Well, I know that you actually do do that because we met that afternoon of the last Mother's Day at the pub, just so that uh, yep. your wife could have time with the kids well, and her mother in law. I mean, you got to be, you got to sort of take yourself, extract yourself from the situation, spend some time with 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 your mates. Um, um, sure. Leave them to it. Just go to the pub and spend some time with some women that aren't mothers. You know, mm. um, how do they feel on Mother's Day? Mm. Rejected. You see, but it's interesting, isn't it? Because we've got the Father's Day special today, and already we're talking about Mother's Day. Yeah. You it? see, it's that that's subconscious exactly, thing yeah, of that, just, that segueing away from the men's issues to the women's issues. I mean, no one loves mothers more than me, if you know what I mean. And if you can give a mother some space, space with the children. Yeah. Space with the children. It's yeah. handing that, also handing the, the mantle over to the children. Yeah. They are, of course, it is their process. mother after Maybe. all. If your mum or, or her mother in law can write down some key points, mm. bullet points, sort of 100 or so points on how to better raise, your kids um, mm. and some advice what gift what gift that pin it on yeah. the fridge pin it on the fridge just look yeah. at it perhaps Asta probably got some views on this and how you can pin it to the fridge some sort of device perhaps like egg carton or something you could put those sure. tips in yeah. stick on the fridge or something speaking of Asta let's go to Craft Corner and check in and see what she's doing well, well we're back yes. with the I'm sorry, but with, with the lovely Asta here in Craft Corner. Asta, you're Hi. looking fantastic oh, once again. You. Yeah. What are you Radiant. doing this time? Radiant. I'm making the word. roses. Look at them, aren't oh. they fabulous? Oh. They've been pre-dried as well. Yeah, oven baked. Oh, oven baked. Mm. Okay, okay. Well, so we can what? eat them. What? It's no. Play, it's Play-Doh, isn't it? It is Play-Doh. I like that. We'll leave you to it. And uh, we've got places to go. See you, see you later yeah. on. Thank you. Well, last it's one. No, no, sorry, you can. Okay. Well, last week we promised you Richie and Dan on the show this week, but uh, unfortunately we don't have them uh, due to it being uh, election time. So uh, we've got two great replacements. However, it's uh, Andrew Mulligan and Scotty Stevenson. Welcome to the couch. Might just interrupt you there, Jeremy. Um, you're into music, aren't you? Oh, I love music. How about your classic Christmas music? Oh, I love it. Well, Christmas is coming up, and you need this CD in your Christmas stocking. Check out this infomercial. Well, Christmas is nearly upon us, and what better way to celebrate than with Matt Mulholland's Recorded by Candlelight CD. Hear all those Christmas classics on the one album played by the Jimi Hendrix of The Recorder. Get one in your stocking today. Fantastic. It's amazing. That shrill sound yeah, really makes you think Christmas. Mm. Christmas cake. Cuts all that through. kind of stuff. Cuts Seriously, through. cuts through, doesn't it? I tell you what, you know, this is a, our man special, I suppose. That yeah. sports special. We've got the, um, the World Cup coming up. Let's talk cricket now. The exciting thing for me, Ree, the cricket is that I really, and I think Jeremy and I were discussing this earlier, the boys are really coming of age now, I think, mm. and finally beginning to fulfil the promise that they've shown and threatened to show over many, many years and failed miserably. Why didn't you discuss it on the show instead of earlier? Would have been a lot better for the show if you discussed that. 
Well, we were yeah. discussing it, and I'm bringing it up now. Re it's what like we were prep discussing for the show. Earlier. Let's go through the team here. We got what do we got? We got uh, Latham and Latham, Latham, definitely. Latham, Latham, yeah, Latham. yeah. Sons um, of you know. At seven, you would have, of course, um, Jeremy, Bron- well, It depends Jeremy. whether you're talking the first. Yeah, you're talking one, one day, day or test. Who's your wicket keeper? Talk about the World Cup. We're going to talk about one day. Jeremy's going to start. I thought we were talking about test. No, no, just stick to the one day. Who's keeping? Would it be tidy to start at T20? Are you talking about World Cup? We're going to go T20 first. Why don't we just go test in the middle? Are you talking? About, about the cricket. World Cup one day beginning. as well as one day. Well, I thought he was talking about Cup. test matches. Well, I'll do test then. Well, let's go test. Seven. T- seven. No, but that makes no well, sense. Well, I mean, seven, I think Jeremy um, and it would start concur with T20s. me. You started the T20s. T20s. Okay, T20s. 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 Start of the series. Yeah. Seven. Uh, but we started the seven T20s. T20s. No, not wrong. You know, you know, real cricket. Well, 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 does that have to change for the T20 in one day? Northern Districts, Wicket Keeper, Curly Hair, you know. Watling. Pardon? BJ. Watling. BJ. BJ. Seven. You're saying Watling? Yeah, Luke Rocky. What's wrong with Tony Blair? Uh, Tony Blair's hands in there. Who's going to be a great spinner in the team? Rocky twenty. One day. I'm not sure if you've mentioned the Marshall twins yet, but they were great. Marshall twins are good as well. I'm not talking historic. I'm talking about Rod Lake. You can't talk cricket without talking Marshall twins, though. These guys have got a point. We're not trying to talk cricket per se. We're just trying to talk about the World Cup. Yeah, but are you going to talk about the World Cup before that? You're going to talk about two games. He's going to talk about the World Cup. He's going to talk about the World Cup. That World was Cup. that's already been. That's not coming up. We've had that. Have we? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's why I didn't want to do it. I actually wanted to talk about the the one days. The World why Cup. didn't you say yeah, that? You should have. I, th- I, th- I thought I made that clear, but uh... well, in that case, going, in actually? that case, Watling. Right. Okay. Just Watling. All right. We're, hey, can I just say just. We've got, a, on the Late Night Big Breakfast, a fantastic all-black competition coming up shortly. Boy, which haven't you, we. We certainly do. What you do, you get to experience a weekend of fun with the All Blacks. You go into their camp, privy to some of their meetings. You get to partake in the Harker, plus, wait for a Jace, you get to play the last 10 minutes for the All Blacks at fullback. Plus, we're going to chuck in $500,000 worth of Wacker Changi beer as well for you and your mates. Um, you can have that either in beer or in or in cash, up to you. But whatever, you've got to be in to win. Um, or more on that competition later on. I hope you guys can stick around a bit longer because later on we've got Miss New Zealand coming on the show. Uh, it be fantastic. And showing off the, the swimsuit section as well. So um, stick around for that if you can. See you shortly. Coming up, we've got Crafts with Asta and we're on the couch with Miss New Zealand. To many people, the beauty pageant is the ultimate showcase of the female form. To other people, it's just a big old perv. But with the resurgence in recent times of beauty pageants in the media, it's a hot topic certainly on everybody's lips. So it's our great pleasure to welcome to the late night Big Breakfast Couch, Brenda Finlayson. Miss New Zealand, 1959. Brenda, welcome to the couch. Welcome, Brenda. Thank you. Brenda, if I could just start first, it's great to have you on the show. What's it like backstage at, at a pageant? I mean, is, is it like we, well, like we hear, uh, is there a lot of bitchiness between the other contestants or, or, or are you friends? There's a lot of bitchiness, but you get friends with some of them. And so these really are friends great. you meet, they, they become friends? Yes. yes, they do, and I, a couple of them I've carried on. Was there any one particular woman that you disliked from any particular area, like Miss Denmark or something? No, Miss Sweden wasn't too hot. Right. You yeah. find the Swedes are a bit like that, aren't they? They're they clicky. Are. They mm. are. Mm. So, Brenda, I have to say, you're looking fantastic. And you're obviously wearing the swimsuit from your swimsuit section, Batman. Oh, no, we didn't have a swimsuit section in those days. Great. But it's been lovely having you... Uh... Thanks a lot, Brenda. Brenda. Fantastic. Thank Thanks for joining Thank us. Thanks so much. Well, Just coming up, we've got some exciting action. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> beauty. Real beauty really is ageless, isn't it? Yeah, certainly mm. Jeremy. Sorry you guys can be over there uh, oh. for that section. It's just a bit of an admin thing with the, uh, the couch situation. Certainly I want to bore you puts with the, the old and yeah, the old. Doesn't it? Is that for real? Yeah. Ah, uh, the late night big breakfast, big AB competition has been axed. Um, we won't be doing that this year at least Already? anyway. Apparently Steve is not comfortable. Um, Steve Hansen, of course, is yeah. not comfortable with um, well, a lot of aspects, but mainly um, the guy playing 10 minutes in the second half at, at fullback. But he's not 
What about the first half, though? He didn't mention that. I, I just got that right. from Joe. I don't know. But um, but we're still keeping the beer, aren't we? No, I'm not going to be giving $500,000 worth of beer away now. Not if Steve's not going to play ball. Why should I? If you know what I mean. But having said that, the cups are still available. So. Sorry, Joe. So I'll interrupt you. Rucking. Uh, should we bring back rucking? I hope so. The thing is with rucking is the man's lying on the ball. You can't just stomp on him. But you no. can clear away the bodies with... with a backwards motion. Well, well, Buck Shelford's testicles were hanging over the ball. They didn't have any problem getting rid of those, Which, did they? Do we have um, in, the, in the All Blacks today? Do we have the type? Of, do we have the type of commitment that Buck Shelford gave to the All Blacks? The fact that you know, are your DCs, your McCaws, your Izzy's, your Kieran your, Reeds, your, Reeds, your, um, your Kainos, your are you just naming your, All Blacks no, now? You just listen, yeah, yeah. Um, are any of them prepared to sacrifice a, a nut? Question. Well, let's put it to the, the, the viewers. Um, if you were in the All Blacks, would you sacrifice a nut? Um, the results of our poll will be later in the show. Um, text in now. Uh, oh. Speaking of, of sexual dysfunction, and I actually had a colleague who I worked for for a, a number of years in broadcasting who took an eighth of a Viagra. And uh, I said to him, why would you take an eighth of a Viagra? And he said, well, when I'm going for a wee on the toilet, it stops me from weeing on my, sh on my shoes. Mm. What sort of shoes did you have? Um, uh, winkle picker mm. slip-ons. Mm. Um, erectile dysfunction. Is there a place for erectile dysfunction in the game of rugby? I, I think there is. There's a place for everyone. Uh, you know, especially. I mean, it'd be hard getting to the semi stage um, in a tournament. Mm. Uh, you got to get past the semis to get to the final yeah. stage. So you I do. Mean, so uh, I'm well, happy with a quarter, to be honest. I mean, well, John Kerwin, of course, is famous for the whole depression angle mm. and, and 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 doing a lot of good work there. Who's going to be the All Black re, re sexual dysfunction? Mm, mm. Who are your guys' sporting idols? In the broadcasting sense, Jeremy? In, the, in the broadcasting yeah. sense. Mm. Oh, look, it's um, oh, my, my dad. I yeah. mean, he was in broadcasting, and he, I, I looked up to him when, when I was just a whippersnapper. I'd go into the broadcasting house, and there'd be all the names there, like Clint Brown, Brian Waddle, yeah. trying to steal his Playboy because I knew he had one. Yeah. Uh, you know. Mm. Those are the yeah, days. Sure, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah. Scotty, yeah. you yeah. must have had a, yeah. someone you looked up to. You got into his career and you looked, you know. Oh, so, like Keith Quinn. I mean, Keith Quinn. Big head. Yes. Quinny. Big voice. Well, yeah. don't talk to Lee about Keith Quinn. Yeah. He's oh. got a few issues. Well, yeah. like, well, well we've sort of, oh. he actually stole my girlfriend once, but that's no big deal. Keith did. Yes, yeah, yeah. we've done Quinny. it. Quinny. And Jeremy, of course, yours would be uh, Waddle, perhaps? or uh, Perhaps Waddle. Julie Coney. Is more my uh, after seeing her breasts, I've always wanted to broadcast like uh, her. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Amazing covered. <laughs> We've Plus. kind of digressed there slightly, yeah. Jeremy, for now. Um, mine was probably have to be Des O'Shea. Oh, you know, oh, the, yeah. Yeah. Of course, um, yeah. the Olympics, etc. And um, I had the pleasure of catching up with him um, a couple of weeks back and yeah. having a one on one with him. And, and by the time, let's just roll that footage. Perhaps no British broadcaster has had such a distinguished career as Des O'Shea. His award-winning career spanned four decades and he has covered seven Olympic Games. His natural rapport with the TV audience and catchphrases now simply known as Desisms have endeared him to viewers and broadcasters alike. Few broadcasters can claim not to have been influenced by him in some way. And for me, an interview with him was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, for he is Des O'Shea. Des O'Shea, a complete honour. Um, I can't think of any name more synonymous with legendary broadcasting through the, those years of the 70s and the 80s. Let's go back, 76 Montreal, 1980 Moscow, 84 Los Angeles, and of course your work on Beijing with BBC One and BBC Two and also ITV. A legendary broadcaster, you're back on the airwaves. How does... <laughs> I'm going to take you back to 76, Montreal. That was your first Olympiads. Um, that must have been amazing. Absolutely. The best. Yeah, there you go. Just goes to show how you, once you meet someone, your, your impression mm. of them can, mm. you know, be changed and tarnished slightly. And Sorry, oh, look, what do I can I just interrupt you, Lee? Great question. And I know there's some great answers that were coming, uh, but we actually need to cross over to uh, Pillows and Haberdashery. Mike the Mongolian Throat Singer. You voted from New Zealand. And uh, no, they didn't actually. They didn't vote for him. No, no that, we, we haven't had any polls whatsoever. We'll go to him anyway. Mike, the Mongolian throat singer. Get on down. It's going to hold tonight. Oh, yeah. Tian Kong Shang. 
How are your roses going? Oh, marvellous. Look at this. It's just great. You just start off there and you just give that a wee so what roll. Are we doing? Up. What are we doing? We're making Ro roses. Roses again. Like roses. Yes, I love it's a theme roses. Series, isn't it? Yes, I think that theme's always good. See, look at them. You can do with them. Beautiful. Okay. So yeah. you just start off like this and you just roll that up like a wee joint love. You know how it is? And then you just put that in your hand like that and you just roll it over like that. Look at that. It's marvellous. Oh, it takes it? a bit of practice. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, it does. People come from miles around to see these. Yeah. 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 You, you should come and do Maori Language Week with me. Look at that. You just keep going until you get it as big as it. Look at Cow that. See? Pie. Right, look at that. Cow you like that? Isn't that just mm. marvellous? Look, isn't that great? Mm. It's marvellous. I just love it. Look, you see, it just gets bigger and bigger as you roll it out. People love these. Did you know that? They just yeah. they just love them. Isn't that just beautiful? It's just gorgeous. Look. Just over it just goes on and on. It does it, it on and on mm. and on. And you know, before you know where you are, you've got this huge, big, big, big huge, huge, big, big look, come look, 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 look at that, look at that. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then as you get to the end, look, you can just do this and look at this for excitement. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. all oh, it all unravels. unravels. Oh, it's and all And I can show apart. you how to do it oh. again. No, no. Are you That's sure? That's great. Well, I think we'll be. Um, Right. Wow. Oh, yeah. We're here with Lance Wiggs talking computers. Um, let's talk about, let's start nice and um, small, I suppose. Things like, who, who are the people? I mean, you've got your geniuses like Thomas Edison um, that, that have allowed this computer phenomena, um, Hall of Notes, these kind of people that have really changed the world. Who, who are the people on the fringe that are making all the difference now? The Tesla car, the electric car. Uh, you grab me one, can you? Yeah, sure. Is, uh, Lance, do you want a drink? Absolutely, yeah. Cheers. Um, Good, thanks, so the, t the Tesla S electric car is the first decent electric car that's actually usable. Fantastic. Oh, actually, it's maybe a coffee, to Jeremy. Okay. Uh, it, do you have it? How do you have it, it Joe? Just white. It's, it's, a te it's Tesla. Oh, sugar sorry, or no sugar? Actually, okay. yeah, Tesla, yeah. yeah. Joe, do you have car. sugar? Okay. Um, that's a, a, One a, sugar. a company okay. that's formed to make these cars. Oh, Jace, there's no right. sugar. And he's also putting uh, people... There's no the sugar. Is it okay just um, to have it without? With just the, black. I think it's okay. SpaceX is his one. Right. One. Mm. Sorry. You were a coffee, weren't you? Oh, yes, did, thank did, you. I'm just going for the straight coffee, actually. Yeah. You know, I guess that, you know, you, you, you think you... Oh, these are veggie crisps. Yeah, they um, I don't like them. Um, the How big is the internet going to get? Are we talking the same sort of thing as electricity? We've got to have it because that's how we run businesses, that's how our society works. And how we masturbate, right. mainly. Mm. Ma mainly. Maybe for you. And, uh, well, it's hard to masturbate without electricity nowadays. Mm. It, surely. Well, I mean, we've, we've come accustomed mm. to having yeah. interaction with a, we've got a screen, um, a something, you know, a screen, a, a PowerPoint, or really some what sort I'm of electric about drill is, or something. Is that are we, Instead know, of seeing the, the you know, going back in your memory and thinking about things and running through scenarios. You wank bank. So yeah. the question is, is Instead the of... internet stifling creativity? No, it's creating creativity. It's helping, it's, it's just a place where creativity <laughs> can hang out. Well, you said, here's argue... what's interesting, the physical uh. stuff. There's a huge maker movement now, which is reverting back to actually making things with your hands. How does this relate but, but to porn? Thing, you I mean, can it's... figure it out yourself. Anything you want to add to that, Jeremy? No, I'm pretty happy just, uh, Settling there. there. I've got to love you and leave you. I've got to go see Joe in, in, in their bookcase corner. It's you guys, surely. Thank you. Unravels the pewters. Beautiful. Look, beautiful on it. What a show we've got today, Joe. Really? Eleanor Canton. 
Oh, right. Uh, stunned the world. Yeah, she did well, didn't she? Yeah. She certainly did with, with her award there. What, what, what was it she won again? Uh, the, 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 the Booker. The Booker Prize. The Man there. Booker Prize. The Man yeah. Booker. Yeah. The Old Man Booker. Uh, no, not the Old Man, just the Man Booker Prize. What I'm saying is that Eleanor Catton, her, her novel, The Luminaries... Have you read it? Well, it's obviously set in Westport on the West Coast there and yeah. tells a gripping tale, intertwining crime with, with, with the gold, the gold rush era, gold yeah. digging. You haven't uh, read a third it, the way you? through it, pardon? You haven't read it, have you? Well, not all of it. Like, there's no show. Have you read any of it? You've read the cover? No, but I don't think you have to read a whole book to, to, to basically criticise no. it. Is that right? Oh, I haven't read so how much have you read? Pardon? How much have you read? Of, of the book? Oh, of the book, yeah. Um, well, I've read, I've, re I've read enough to know that I don't need to read any more because everyone else has read it and they said it's fantastic. You're telling me all about a book you haven't read. Oh, you've clearly read it. No, I haven't. I haven't? No. OK. But I admit it. There's, anyone a, slight, there's a marginal it? difference. I, that I admit that I haven't read it. Yeah, I'll probably show. As I say, Joe, I don't think, you know, in my position, uh, running a book show and being uh, more of a, <laughs> on the other side of a, a literary scale, you know, on the more of the, you know... The tweeting side. Critiquing side of it. No, oh, right, OK. Is that I don't feel you have to totally read a book entirely, or, or, or indeed at all, to, to, to review it, Joe. I mean, I've, right. I haven't read many of your books, and I'm certainly quite critical of them. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. So you've got nothing to say about it, you're spending quite a lot of time. Look, OK, all right, OK. You haven't won a man book, have you? No, I haven't, no. Exactly. All right, man, the point. Thank you. Welcome back to the Contessa suite. That's a five-piece suite. And you need a five-piece suite when you've got five big men like this sitting around talking sports. Thanks for coming on. It's been fantastic having you, your insight and your opinions. Um, it, it really has been an eye-opener. And mm. we've certainly learned a lot. I know the viewers have. And I've taken a little bit home with them this week. Not so much in the prize um, pack form, but more in information. And that's what it really is about nowadays on yeah. TV. Massive show next week. I'll be in Craft Corner with Asta making really good use of those spear egg cartons. Mm. And we'll be looking at colonic irrigation. Does it have real health benefits or is it just putting unnecessary pressure on your water bill? And we ask what's up with Maoris. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Well, that's it for the show. Thanks very much for watching. This episode brought to you by Man Flu Dissolve for all your man flu needs. Thanks again. Zealand on air.